there shouldn't be much if anything on there yeah that's it you want to keep the old piston yeah okay. then we'll see what kind of piston they got inside of there so today we are changing out a evaporator coil it's an older r22 actually it's Believe it or not, I think it's like a 2014 or... Really? Something like that, yeah. Or 11. I thought it was wild. 13 pounds R22. So we're going to go ahead and uh, replace this coil. Letting that fan come on. It's bringing some nice air coming up from down here, isn't it? Oh boy. We got plenty of extra length on it. Old yeah, one time piston. me and Tyler were doing a coil, and I told him to leave the blower on. He's like, man, we're not even gonna feel that air. Might as well keep it off. I'm like, I don't know, man. I feel it. Dude, it's it's like a vortex coming up from yeah. down here. Especially in like the attics. Yeah. Shoot, I don't know what you're talking about. It coming right up. <laughs> And it's good for uh, to leave your blower on for when you're doing your vacuum. Oh, really? Yeah, heat that coil up. Good. Just in case there's any kind of uh, vapor or anything in there. So it looks like we're going to have to use this back. Okay. But if you want, we can cut it off right now if it makes you feel a little bit better. No, I ain't worried about it. All right. We're gonna have some water. Mm -hmm. You wanna grab that box down there and then we can just throw it in the box? Yeah. Gonna grab that box down there. Might make it a little bit easier. Let's see if we're gonna get this. Probably go straight up through here. Put this down real quick. Oh, go a little bit farther back. And this box ain't gonna come up here. Uh uh. No, I take it down. We're gonna catch hell trying to get it out of here. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, it ain't worth it. That hard to bring it up. It's just gonna have some water. Yeah, I'll bring it up here and check in that box too. There might be a, uh, there might be, um, some information about it. The old one's 78, okay. but we're going to go what the outdoor is telling us. All right. So I'm going to take this out. I'll have to use two hands on this. Man, 
almost dived down through the hole. Yeah, I almost fell through. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call a quick getaway. Alright, so we got our tent, we got our vacuum stuff, a little vacuum kit, vacuum hoses. We just filled it up with oil. This is brand new field piece, VP87, uh, 8CFM, dual stage vacuum pump. Just came out probably like a couple months ago, I think. I already got some dirt on it, but you know, it's a tool. Alright, so we'll turn our CPS micron gauge on. Open these valves. We had to take that screw out so we could move this around a little bit. Okay. We'll turn her on. Gas ballast is open. Open. And the solid is closed. Pulling down rather quick. But of course we're we got two uh, two ways we're sucking. I like to close this off slowly. We're going to back up slowly because we do, we'll have some air in here. See? Mm. Just a little bit of air. Yeah. So, we're back still doing this coil over here. We had, um, pulled it down, what, like 190, 200 microns? Yeah. And then all of a sudden it jumped up to like 3,000. So we're on a uh, trending scale right now. And it was uh, last holding at 255. I don't know why it's saying connect tool. I got my tools out there. Can I read stuff for? Yeah, 255.5. So, we're going to do a little. I got the. Uh, I got my S men out there doing a. Uh, pressure test right now come on job link I just had my wife call me but yeah I was just saying we got it uh on a pressure test right now and we are 255.4 it was 255.5 um see if we can go back to job link job link still acting uh kind of funny it's like hello job link work it's whatever i really use measure quick anyways um but yeah we haven't lost any it's probably been what maybe 10 minutes or so yeah around there now. but i got the uh, s mans out there doing a tightness test So we can exactly see how long. Um, my guess is that, I mean, it's like 100% humidity outside, so the chances of some uh, moisture getting in there is pretty good. Might be boiling off. Um, I did have Robert go up there and turn the fan motor on to the evaporator coil to try to heat that coil up, see if we can... Uh, you know get some stuff moving but we'll give it a little bit longer we're just hanging out in the truck and we'll give this you know a little bit longer time probably till three o'clock that'll be another ten minutes and if she hasn't come down you know if it hasn't come down more than 20 psi we're solid yeah I mean yeah. It, if it, it don't look like it's gonna drop but maybe one or two more so 
I'm suspecting it's the o-ring on my CPS micron gauge I think I might need to get a new um, micron uh, little uh, little o-ring seal but I'm gonna probably use the uh, s man's micron gauge and see what's going on there but yeah so we're just gonna wait 252 right now well here we are almost 20 minutes later we haven't one PSI or not even a PSI it would tell us right here yeah. so it's a mystery yeah no one knows she's a growler so what we'll do is we'll uh, release the pressure and then we'll we'll start over leave that blue line hooked up so I'm gonna use set up pull everything out of here yeah. oh maybe you have to have a crack there we go I think we kind of want to see, you know, if it levels off, that might be due to some moisture or something. Okay, yeah, see how it line. keeps coming down. Mm-hmm. That's neat. Oh, yeah. Kind of trusting this a little bit more, that one. Yeah. If we were listening to this, it's already at 200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, even if this is reading a little higher, it's better pull a little, a little longer. Yeah, and it's, it's further away from the system. Mm -hmm. I still don't know why my alarm ain't doing. Yeah, don't you have one set for a thousand and then five hundred? Oh, because now, now it's I have to apparently press enter. <laughs> Our curve's kind of leveling out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's wet today. It's 100% yeah. humidity out here. Not an ideal day to pull it back in. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you don't get ideal days. You rarely do. Yeah, yesterday, uh, me and whenever you went to go do that blower, we had to go do a condensate pump. And it was raining, and of course the water was going right underneath the house, and it was all oh, muddy yeah. and stuff under there. Yeah, I'd be uh, not wanting to go up in the house. Right? Yeah, they had plastic and stuff, but underneath the plastic, water everywhere. I'm just like, all right, it's like we're walking on a water, or crawling on a waterbed. It's coming down, 61 microns a minute. This one's saying 53, this one's saying 61. Now it's going down. What does the CPS say? 130. Good God almighty. Oh, man. We are way, way,
dude, I'm taking that thing back. CPS? Yeah, and tell them, like, dude, what the mm -hmm. what's going on here? Yeah, because both of these... Well, that's connected to us. So. Yeah, it's a little delay. It's wet, though. Mm -hmm. They were a little low, but we'll let it uh, let it level out. But that's it, pretty much. We got all of this crap out here. The tent got the new coil in there. We're gonna put some more refrigerant back in the system. So we did a uh, a pressure check for about 20 minutes. Didn't have any uh any locks, so. But you know, it's uh, I don't know if you can tell, it is drizzling, so it's 100% humidity out here. And uh, this is making it very hot in here. Whew, a little warm now. Alright, well, we'll see you guys in the next one.